Okay, I thought you might find this one interesting. The integral of e to the 2x minus 1 on e to the 2x plus 1. Um, this one's interesting. I've rewritten it because I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by e to the minus x. It's just totally inspirational um, why that would happen. But if you actually do that multiplication, you'll see where the inspiration is leading. So remember when you're timesing together with the same base, you add the indices. So that's going to give me e to the x, 2x minus x is x, uh, minus e to the minus x on e to the x plus e to the minus x dx. Now, has that got me anywhere at all? Has it? Well, just take a step away for a minute and look at this denominator. Yes, yeah, you're thinking logs. Well, that's what I was thinking too. I uh, just want to show you what is, say y equals e to the x plus e to the minus x, what is the derivative of that? Well, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. The derivative of e to the minus x is minus e to the minus x. True? So, if that's the denominator, the numerator turns out to be the derivative of the denominator. And when that happens, woohoo! That means you can write natural log of the denominator. So what we've just found is natural log of e to the x plus e to the minus x from minus one to one is what we're finding, which is the natural log of e to the one plus e to the minus one minus natural log of e to the minus one plus e to the minus of minus one, which is e to the one. So it's, uh, let's see, we've got e to the one. That's, they're the same thing, isn't it? It's a natural log of e to the one and e to the minus one and e to the one and e to the minus one. So it's the same thing minus itself. So it's equal to zero.